Hello friends. Good morning. Today I am coming up with very interesting business case to set up Odoo for a repair shop. Specifically any repair shop can use this format where they are repairing a machine or a computer or laptop or anything for their client. So they have to receive that part, that particular you know, device into their warehouse then perform the repairing and then sending it back to the client so how it works it is a very simplified way a manual way i am going to show you today using odoo's sales inventory repair modules and purchase for you know uh, buying uh, the component or parts to be used so this use case is basically covering up today for computer hardware shop or computer repair shop or a laptop repair shop or you can use the same for mobile repair also so let's see how it works so first of all when uh, you know i am going to inventory i have to you know have some parts like parts one which you know again track by serial number or so so you know we can enable first multi-step route as well as enable load and serial number so that we can cover a maximum things over here now having said that we will going to have part one which can be tracked by quantity and unique part one which can be tracked by a serial number and then we have uh, you know laptops like let me tell customer laptop which we are going to receive which again have a unique serial number where the price will always be zero so that is first part and then uh, you know part one where product category can be goods and we can have you know any method to check the stock so part one and unique part one will belong to this and then let me have a unique part inventory also to be updated so over here i am updating maybe you know up001 <coughs> or let me you know simply purchase this it will create a better inventory control so I am going to purchase this part from my vendor. Unique part one. I will have 10 units worth $100 each. And part one, again, I have few inventories for that. I confirm and in the receipt. Now I will say I want to define the unique serial number. So I will generate directly a bulk number for this and simply validate so these parts are with me in inventory now we can see over here now parts one and part unique part one both have 10 10 units which is tracked by you know serial number so we can see the lot and serial number field over here which are available in stock now what is happening i have to configure one service type product over here so if i go to product which i say repair repairing or repair anything which is service type where i can create a repair order based on selling this okay so this will be always fixed price services and based on you know a client need i can charge client accordingly so what I will do now smartly, I will prepare a sales order like customer one. I will have a sales order where I will sell a repairing worth maybe thousand dollar or let's say two hundred dollar. And over here, I will ask customer to submit their laptop where the price will become zero because it is not my inventory. Neither I am, you know, selling, neither I am buying, but I am taking as a repairing purpose. So to receive this part, what I will do, 
I will say minus one. So it will automatically create a return type of, you know, inventory move in our warehouse. So over here, I will save it. And also let me enable the consignee. So whenever I am enabling consignee, consignment mode, then I will select that customer as an owner to this particular product. So now what I will do, I will go to sales and then I will simply you know confirm the order so it will create one repair order and a delivery which is nothing but a you know move which i am receiving from customer to my inventory and then over here i have to give a unique serial number for that product which is printed or available in customer's laptop and simply i will validate this so now what happens is in my inventory when I have done a receipt <coughs> I have sorry I have not give a sign owners over here but it is very much mandatory so the ownership will be with customer let me return it also and then recreate the move so now let me recreate the move by again returning so it will not create the exact move but when i go to sales order again let's say this particular customer to stock i am just duplicating it and then owner is customer one and then i will put that serial number again okay. to identify easily i am giving this and then validate so this part is now part of my inventory but valuation will not so one inventory is there with this particular number you know from customer now what I will do is I will jump to my repair order which I am going to perform and then I will say repair laptop receive from customer <coughs> okay. and product to repair means this customer laptop and then I will give this laptop to repair and if any part to be used I will use that part in this particular repair okay and then i will say start repair and return means if i am going to return this to customer like you know a standard flow of odoo where i am selling and then i am receiving in repair that is what a standard but here i am not selling anything i am just repairing this i will say end repair so in my sales order now part one has been added worth one dollar with repairing cost and this computer laptop okay now what i have to do i have to return this laptop to my customer so i have to add customer laptop one unit which i am going to return and it will create a delivery for customer and over here it will assign this serial number you know automatically because that is what I have received and the ownership is with customer and I simply validate my transfer and then I can create the invoice for my services perform where this laptop has been received and delivered to my customer and invoice will be prepared and when I print my invoice now you can see the entire summary in our invoice so over here when i open this invoice you can see customer laptop is zero but a repairing cost and part cost will be invoiced to my customer with taxes so this is the way you can create a journey for your repair shop within all now let's see if i have to you know repair a mobile so customer mobile which is again track by unique serial number the price will become zero and 
I am again going to create a sales order where customer two and then I am saying repairing is my service worth $60 and then what I will receive from my customer is customer mobile where I have to put minus one which means it will generate a reverse move in Odoo. So as soon as I confirm this it will create one repair order and one delivery which is nothing but a receipt. So in my inventory what happens is it will create a receipt from my customer and then I am assigning customer to as well as I say mobile 0001 customer 2 or let's say this is from owner customer 2 which is I am going to receive from my customer and now I will jump to my repair order where one repair order is confirmed and I am going to repair is customer mobile with this serial number and then if I am adding any part let's say unique part 1 I am using this as well as some part 1 also I am using to repair this product so repairing mobile and then I will say start repair as well as I will say end of repair and then in my sales order now this one will be available with part cost if i want to change the part cost to anything i can do before i you know uh, create my invoice and then before creating invoice what i will do is i will simply say this customer mobile i have to return also so i will add one more line customer mobile one unit which i am going to return it to customer first and then in detail you can see the directly the serial number will be available over here for all of my, you know customer and then i can simply create a regular invoice and confirm it and then i can print and hand it over to my customer for his records so over here you can see the unique part serial number will be available over here which i have used so in future if customer is coming back i can even track what parts uh, serial number part was received and then this is the summary of my invoice where the customer mobile which i receive and return has zero valuation zero post or zero sales price and the rest of the part like service and physical parts have some selling price so this is how you can manage your simple repairing business in odoo with simple sales purchase inventory uh, modules and repair modules and then you can start uh, this manual journey by configuration only very simply so you can launch your uh, repair business very easily using Odoo using this particular method so you can have track of your inventory track of your repairing products and track of your parts and everything in alignment hope this will help many people to configure the repair business uh, inside Odoo with this trick thank you guys good day